Up on a go for auto sequence start. T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Atlantis's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. We have a go for main engine start. 4, 3, 2, 1. We have booster ignition and liftoff of the space shuttle Atlantis, maintaining America's constant presence in space. Houston now controlling the side of Atlantis. Uh, yeah, I was just the program. Roger, roll, Atlantis. Echoing the words of Yuri Gagarin on his launch 36 years ago, Commander Charlie Precourt puts Atlantis into the roll, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Mike Fall headed to the Mir space station. Thirty seconds into the flight, Atlantis's three liquid fuel main engines now throttling back in a three-step fashion to 67% of rated performance to dampen the stress on the shuttle's aero surfaces as it breaks through the sound barrier. Fifty-three seconds into the flight, the main engines now beginning to rev up to full throttle, 104% of rated performance. The engines, along with the three fuel cells and three auxiliary power units, all functioning normally. Atlantis, go with throttle up. Go with throttle up. The throttle up call acknowledged by Commander Charlie Precourt on the flight deck of Atlantis. Joined by pilot Eileen Collins, flight engineer Carlos Noriega, and mission specialist Jean-Francois Clairvois. Down on the mid-deck, mission specialist Ed Liu, Elena Kondakova, and Mike Full, beginning four months in space. One minute, 40 seconds into the flight, Atlantis traveling at 2,300 miles per hour, already 17 miles downrange from the launch site, 20 miles in altitude. 15 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation, that will be commanded by the general purpose computers through the master events controller on board. Booster officer confirms a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance is converging on all three main engines now gently steering Atlantis for a precise keyhole in space for main engine cutoff.